So for the next two days, probably it's gonna be like skincare reviews because my skin is still super dry and it doesn't wanna leave me alone. <laughs> so we're just being comfortable, a little braid, a sweater. I was thinking because I've been trying this product out for a while already and I know it's not that that's causing my dry skin, <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna review it. Um, drunk elephant so i was actually searching for a sunscreen for a long time because i did have other sunscreen so first of all this packaging is just everything drunk elephant when i look at all the bottles i'm like this is so cute i really like it um you can see it it is the umbra sheer physical daily defense protect and preserve and you know before I bought this I decided to go check the reviews which is you know like it's very mix and match so like half of it is like people hate it and then people love it so I'm like okay um I'm still gonna try it anyways because when I looked at other sunscreen this was the cheapest for the amount of product that you have and this is the bottle and it's quite heavy you know what I mean like and it's very very cute you really have to see it to, to know and then the little cap is just cute as well um but this is SPF 30 and it is 90 milliliters or three fluid ounces and this one was $45 Canadian if I'm not mistaken just let me check to be sure <laughs> yes so $45 Canadian for 90 milliliters and if I compare it to something else for example like if I write sunscreen for example like the super goop like of course this one is kind of clear so let me check for or something else they are all in the 30 45 dollar range and they are like 30 milliliters um and if I compare it to a drugstore so CeraVe for example this one is uh 50 though the, this has more protection for your skin when it's 20, 75 milliliters um so it's not that bad the difference but it's 25 dollars canadian so even for like i would say drugstore it's still quite expensive but we're gonna compare girl when i what i read about that is that i was searching for a physical sunscreen uh that had a lot because i really don't like buying too many sunscreens and i can i like when i have enough to really drag it down bring out my chest bring out my hands you know to protect really all my body from the rays of the sun which i try to avoid every single day of my life to be honest uh, i really like my skin burns at the slightest ray of the sun coming in. Even when I'm inside and I'm staying inside all day, I do, I'm hiding and I have to put sunscreen. <laughs> all right, so what it says, it's a sheer sunscreen that delivers powerful broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection and aids in the prevention of free radicals and oxidative damage. So for normal dry combination and oily skin, which is nice, skin can concerns, which is nice because it's not only an, an, an it's not only an SPF, but it's also something that will give you antioxidant and protects your skin throughout the entire day. So dark spots, fine lines, wrinkles, dullness, and uneven texture, which is really nice. And it is in a cream form. There is highlighted ingredients, which I'm not going to talk about like everything, but like sunflower shoot extract, um, Aztec xanthin rich algae extract, and raspberry seed oil, which are antioxidants and neutralize free radicals and exhibit strong anti whatever properties so it's really there's really good results on this it is also clean at sephora which is another thing that i really love and it is 20 percent zinc oxide which is the physical sunscreen that is in there um so they claim that this one is doesn't leave a white cast so i saw mixed reviews on this on the sephora website which i want to talk to you about a lot of people were saying that there was a huge disgusting white cast on their skin after using this and some people were like wow like i don't see it or like you know <laughs> i'm just saying so um we're gonna be trying this baby out because we have to apply it and also there is kind of like a gritty texture of this sunscreen which is totally normal if you've never tried physical sunscreen before um you're gonna see i don't know if you can see it on the camera but there is like some little some little thingies in there which it looks when you look you're like what is this like past the date but no like i bought multiple physical sunscreens uh for the body especially for like uh young like babies because baby sunscreen sometimes is like cheaper <laughs> so i just buy this um but i needed something right now so um there's a little gritty texture which goes away when you apply it so let's try this i i put quite a lot actually and you're supposed to put a lot so i'm gonna be 
applying this and you're gonna be like wow this is white and it's gonna stay like that but the trick with physical sunscreen is that people like they just do this they smear it around and they stop which is not what you're supposed to do you're supposed to continue like going in there and like continue to mix it into your skin and eventually the white cast is gonna go away so that's the trick with uh mineral physical sunscreens it's important to really push it into the skin so it gets absorbed into the skin basically so my you know first impressions of this product because i've been trying it for like i don't know like two weeks maybe um was I two weeks? Anyways, just sorry, I have some... And like I told you guys before, I have dry skin at the moment and it's crazy. So what I noticed first is that this sunscreen is actually quite hydrating. And it leaves such like a healthy glow on my skin, which I loved since I'm dry, <laughs> like the desert. And honestly i really like it the thing is it's saying that it's for all skin types i would not say that this is for all skin types just because um well the thing is the thing is this is too hydrating for somebody that is really oily like this would make you more oily and like it goes in my skin very very well and you have to let it sink in for a while before it's kind of gone because I read on the like on, on the reviews that a lot of people were saying that there's like a kind of like a sleek thingy happening over there which to me it doesn't really do that it's kind of going away as I let it sink into my skin because my skin is dry so if you have oily skin I would probably avoid using the sunscreen it really depends how oily and how your skin reacts to a product it might work for somebody that has oily skin and it might not work for somebody that has oily skin but back to the white cast um of course like if you're tanner or you have a deeper skin tone than me you can't really girl you can't really like see my opinion on my skin but if you see like compared okay i have different like undertones over there but you can't really see a white cast anywhere on my skin maybe like in these areas because it's harder to blend in there but other than that like if you take really the time to blend your sunscreen there's nothing whatsoever nothing like there's no white cast nothing and it's hydrating so i love if i compare it for example to the cerave 50 which i don't even know if it's still Okay, so I'm just going to take a bit because there's some still left. It's still white and this one is not gritty. Um, but like this one left me with a white cast on my face. So like this one wasn't really like the best. So like I'm just going to be no matter how much I would like put it on my skin it would just stay there and it would just leave a white disgusting cast all day long but this one from the drunk elephant let me put some on my hand as well just to see the difference you know because i have to show you the difference the other one that i so as you can see look okay so like you can't really see, it's way less and then if i mix it like there's no white cast left literally so you see the difference? This is a Siravi and this is the Drunk Elephant. And I didn't even like blend that much compared to this one. And this one, like the Siravi is like, it feels like your skin is getting drier just because of like, I think it's oil controlling and it's really good for oily skin. But like you can definitely see the difference between the two. If you don't, well, there's a huge difference between the two. But uh, yeah, so that's comparing different sunscreens to that. And yeah, I feel like it's not really expensive because it's like for $45, you have so much compared to other sunscreens at Sephora. And I really love the formulation, love the box, love everything. And oh, this, like you have to make sure, like they say to apply this 15 minutes before you go out in the sun. So it does take around that time, I would say that you have nothing left on your skin so like even now like the greasy type of thingy <laughs> that was at the beginning which is really hydrating is going into my skin and I can feel it less already and there's no white cast and if there was a white cast you would see it all over my acne it would be quite disgusting just like the Ceravi and I feel like if it's giving you too much of a white cast you can use a little bit less and apply more like throughout the day 
if you don't wear any makeup. All right, so the clinical results in this, it's an independent consumer testing p panel of 50 women aged 25 to 55, which I'm younger than that. So, <laughs> um, But I'm gonna tell you if I agree with that or not. So 98% agreed skin felt protected. I 100% agree with that because um, I went outside, I drove a few hours with this and it was totally good. 94% um, found Humber Share gentle and non-irritating, which is absolutely true. You saw it in yesterday's video. My skin is so bad and it, this has been soothing my skin on top of like the oils and everything that I've been using. So um, it didn't irritate my skin and it kept it hydrated and protected throughout the entire day. Um, and 93% agreed felt uh, skin felt smoother and soft and smooth. I mean, I can't really say that because I have so much acne that whenever, whatever I do, it's not really smooth. So... <laughs> that's what it is girl so um I just want to talk about real quick about with which product that I've been trying it with uh so I did my regular skincare routine everything and then you follow the order and then everything this is the last step of your skincare routine so I tried it with oils with only moisturizer under makeup and to be honest like this sunscreen the Humbershear Humbershear physical daily defense is literally the best sunscreens I've ever tried. It doesn't, it's not greasy on my skin, but I have dry skin. You have to keep that in mind. The best sunscreens I've ever tried in my life. It doesn't leave a white cast, which I was, I was really surprised. I thought it would leave a white cast and I would be, just be like weird all day long. But this is really, really good. I really like it. Um, other than that, yeah, when I put oil, I just leave a minute or two and then I let it sink into my skin and then I put that on top and it doesn't like do weird things. It doesn't break down the, the, the sunscreen or anything. So it's really good. And even under makeup, I do put that and, you know, I mix it with primer afterwards. So I leave it for 15 minutes before I do my makeup, let's say, and then I put primer, everything. Thing. and it's like I had nothing on my skin which I absolutely love so do I recommend this drunk elephant um umbra sheer physical daily defense I 100% recommend it to me it's a really really good sunscreen uh, like I told you before mineral sunscreens you do have to mix it a little bit more into your skin to make sure that it goes in properly and it doesn't leave a white cast I saw pictures of <laughs> on the Sephora people like they had like a thick layer of sunscreen and it was a white cast all over which you might have put too much on your skin and or you didn't mix it all the way properly because as you can see there's nothing on my skin it's it looks like I don't have anything and it just gives me a nice glow which I like you know I like I don't want to look like a dried up uh, potato or something you know like crunchy potato skin or something um but yeah so that is my video for today um this week it's my skin's pretty bad so it's gonna be skincare tomorrow as well um and some shorts <laughs> as always. So um, I hope that you liked this video. And if you have a favorite sunscreen, please make sure to comment down below. I would love to know. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and to consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you want to see five videos a week, Monday through Friday, all on beauty related again. So thank you so much again for watching. I really, really love you beauties and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye beauties.